Hey everybody, so I thought I would do an updated fluffy brow tutorial being as my last one was so popular and now I've got some new products and I just feel like the result is so much nicer. So I wanted to share an updated version. So as you can see, my brows at the very beginning are slightly more sparse than this, but as you can see, the potential for them to be fluffy and full is brilliant. Even if you have very, very sparse brows, you can still work with them to achieve a look similar to this. Today I'm using the Iconic London Liquid Brow Silk and this is phenomenal. You may have seen it in previous tutorials of mine. This is 100% vegan and cruelty free and it holds the brows in place almost like a liquid version of the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Freeze. The hold of this is phenomenal and I would say even better than the Brow Freeze. Now as you can see, this is slightly white in its texture, but it will completely dry clear once you press it into the brows. So we're gonna start by brushing the brows the opposite direction to really coat all the hairs on the front and the back. Now you want to start brushing your hairs upwards. It can take a little while to get your hairs to lay in a different direction because they grow in a certain way and they want to lay naturally that way. So just keep being persistent with brushing them up and the more that product coats them and as it starts to set, the hairs will start to stand in the place that you want them to. The front of your brow you want to brush directly upwards but like me as you can see here for the remainder of my brow I'm brushing them slightly diagonally because you don't want them all to go directly up because that just will not give you a natural appearance. Then the key is to take something flat. I'm using the end of the spoolie brush by Anastasia Beverly Hills and starting at the base of the brow I'm using a roll and push technique to flatten that brow to the skin. I'm going to show you this is the shape that we have created by pushing the brows up so for those of you that maybe don't have an artistic eye or struggle to see the shape hopefully this will give you a better idea. Then I'm taking my Urban Decay brow blade in the shade Cool Cookie. This has a waterproof pencil one side and an ink stain the other. Today we are only going to be using the pen and as you can see the nib is super tiny. It's the smallest one that I've found on the market that works so well. So starting at the base of the brow, we're going to be creating hair-like strokes. So we're using a flicking motion. At this stage, you do not need to draw from the bottom to the top. We are just going along and defining the base first, and then we can go along and start to create the top half of the brow. To do this, you can either join up from the bottom towards the top or just concentrate on the top. You don't always have to go all the way from the bottom to the top, especially at the front of your brow, because this area is naturally more sparse. So don't go in and fill that in too much. You want to use a very light hand, so I would place your hand towards the middle of the pen. It will enable you to be more light handed. If you're too close towards the front of the pen, you'll be more heavy handed. You'll notice that I'm mostly concentrating on the very base of the brow and the very top of the brow. Because the middle section is quite full from all my natural hair, I don't need to fill those areas in. So as you can see here, I'm just filling in very light strokes. And using Cool Cookie is so similar to my natural brow shade that it's not an overpowering colour up the top here. As you can see, it's so light, but it makes the world of difference. It's adding fullness without being over the top or overpowering. At this point, you can see I'm still creating hair strokes in that diagonal fashion. But as we rotate towards the tail of the brow, we're going to change the direction to follow the way the hair is naturally laying. You also want to make these strokes slightly shorter as they get towards the tail. You can keep the ends very fluffy. I actually like to extend the tail a little bit further down and I feel like it defines it a little bit more, creating a bit of a pointier finish. Again, I have that image in my mind of the shape that I'm creating. So I need to go in and just fill in the base of any of those areas that are slightly more sparse. So we get that more defined shape to the brow. And as you can see here, it's looking really, really nice. There's just a few tiny areas that need a little bit of a tweak. So if we take a look at both the eyebrows in comparison to each other, you can see that the Cool Cookie shade is fantastic because it's not making my brows look completely different in terms of the colour, but the fullness is very transformative. So I'm going to leave you to watch my other brow transformation and then I will come back at the end.
and there we have it guys as you can see that is both brows completed and I absolutely love them I feel like we've come such a long way from the very beginning and also since my previous tutorial of fluffy brows I think these new products work fantastically together so I'm going to link everything I've used in the description bar for you whether you're in the UK the US or the EU please subscribe if you are new to my channel my name is Shona Scott Come follow me outside of YouTube over on Instagram where I'm most active and I will see you on Sunday with a new tutorial. Bye guys.